good gravy. What a trip. <laughs> this 93-year-old is having the adventure of a lifetime with her grandson. Even on that first trip, we knew that we were a... Um, Odd couple. Yeah. <laughs> Together, Brad and Joy Ryan just finished visiting all 63 U.S. national parks. My husband had passed away. I didn't have any children around close. I didn't have a dog, so no one depended on me. So I thought, well, this is time to either do it or forget it. So I decided to do it. Joy is now the oldest living person to visit every national park. Before this journey began in 2015, Joy had never seen mountains or the ocean before. She just casually said, I wish that I'd seen more of what you've seen in life. I was resolved that this is something that I wanted to do with my life with her while she was here. The road trip is really about two people, um, the lengths that two people will go to to heal very deep and profound trauma. Brad says family strife led to estrangement for years. After his grandmother went through a health scare and he faced mental health struggles at veterinarian school, he knew it was time to reach out. I called her and I said, do you want to go see your first mountain? Her answer was, what time are you picking me up? First stop, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I'm wearing my scrubs. I didn't even change. We just um, got in the car at like five o'clock and drove uh, through the night, basically, we arrived at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park at our campsite about two in the morning. And um, it started raining about the last two hours of the trip. And when we, that was her first experience uh, camping, but she was a trooper. She didn't complain. She held the umbrella over me while I assembled the tent. He blew up the air mattress when I got up on the daggone thing. I kept falling off. So I said, well, this is enough of this crap. I'm sleeping <laughs> on the ground. So that's what I did. One of their standouts over the eight years, California's Redwoods. How do you feel when you look up at these trees? They make you feel very small. Does it make you feel very young? Not me. <laughs> then there were the more challenging explorations. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Success! It's never going to be perfect. Never. Yeah. If you want a perfect trip, you are better yeah. just stay home. As Joy approached 90, they stopped roughing it as much. We're out in the moon, dog. Still, they kept on moving, ending here in American Samoa. But it's by no means their final destination. It was more about having a reason to spend time together. And we have seen America from top to bottom, east to west, north to south. We've been everywhere. So now we wanted a reason to go and explore the world. When you get out in the big wide world, it really opens up your eyes. You think, I didn't know this was out here. I had no clue. Next stop, East Africa, and maybe all seven continents. They're dubbing it the era of international joy. <laughs> 